So what's up guys, it's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video guys, I've got some custom tactics and player instructions for the 442 formation. But just before we get started guys, I would very much appreciate it if you could drop us a thumbs up as it does really help me out. It's team of the season, so if you guys need any coins, make sure you check out MMOXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're fast, cheap and reliable. And if you use my code REMA, you can get yourself a nice 5% discount. Okay guys, so starting off with the custom tactics for the defensive start I like to have this on balance now the reason we have this on balance is because it gives us the greatest control over our defense where when we need to press we're able to press and then when we want to drop off be a little bit more passive we're also able to do that so having this on balance does give us the best control over our defenders that the other settings do not give us moving on to the defensive width guys I like to have this on 35 the reason for this is it makes us nice and narrow and compact in our defense uh, which will prevent our opponents from being able to run and pass right through the middle of us super important in my opinion the reason we don't go any lower though is because it's still important to maintain a bit of natural width to cover the wider areas in case an opponent tries an attack down the wings moving on to the depth guys I'm having this on 60 at the moment the reason for this is I find it to be a nice balanced defensive line where it's neither too deep or too high if we have the depth like crazy low I'll, you notice we'll get like pinned back all the time and we'll have constant pressure on us and on the flip side if we have the depth too high then one through ball will absolutely destroy us so I kind of like to go for something in between uh, where we can press higher when we want to and then sit off a little bit more when we need to as well moving on to build up play guys I suggest having this on balance this is because it's by far the most consistent form of build up in my opinion uh, the reason for this is you can kind of play quickly when you want to play quickly and then you can slow it down when you need to as well with balance you can pick and choose when uh, you want to use each different style for example if you look at slow build up you're always going to have to play slowly with that you're not going to be able to play a fast style whenever you choose the same with fast build up you're not really going to be able to slow it down because it is fast build up but with balance you can pick and choose when you want to play fast and when you want to play slow moving on to chance creation guys I suggest having this on direct passing this is because it's by far the most meta option in the game basically your attacking players will like bunch up against the defenders so you can do these very overpowered 1v1 isolation plays uh, this makes it very easy to create chances and players also make the extra movements in the box so you can get off that extra pass to guarantee the goals direct passing is an absolute must in my eyes uh, you guys might not want to use it but honestly I cannot suggest it enough moving on to the attacking width guys I like to have this on 40 the reason for this is I don't like having my width crazy high otherwise it feels like there's too great of a distance between each player and playing simple passes seems to be very difficult and on the flip side I don't like having it too narrow otherwise it feels like your players are way too close together uh, and I don't really like that either because it's difficult to attack when everyone's like stuck together like glue uh, so I kind of like to go for something in the middle where it's neither too narrow or too wide moving on two players in box guys I have this on four at the moment this is so we can get a few players into the box but we don't overcommit everybody to the point where if we lose out in possession we're not going to get counter-attacked all the time uh, so four has been really good for me as for corners and free kicks I have these on one because there is a set piece routine that I use which requires these to be on one there is a link to that in the top right hand corner of the screen if you are interested now moving on to the players you want to use guys I'm just going to give some suggestions on the types of players you can use because a lot of people ask which type of plays they should be using in each formation so I just thought I'd address it and give you guys like a basis uh, for what types of players you can use in each position so starting off with the two strikers I like to go for a balance between the two so I like to go for a more creative player in the left striker position and then a more like clinical finisher player in the right striker position this is so we've got like a bit of a creative finisher dynamic and it makes your attack a lot more varied if you use two out and out strikers that are only really good at finishing the chances you're very restricted in how you attack you're just going to have to like resort to lumping through balls and crosses because the strikers aren't capable of doing anything else but if you implement a more creative player into the strike force you can do a bit more in terms of build up and it is super useful so that's why I like to go for that balance there moving on to the right mid and the left mid I suggest you guys use actual wingers here these are players that are obviously going to be very quick have decent skill moves uh, decent dribbling ability even decent shooting 
shooting ability, but obviously they still need to be able to pass and cross. Uh, the thing I will say about these players, though, is you don't have to worry about their defensive stats. It's obviously a bonus if you can get somebody with decent defensive stats as well, but it's not an absolute necessity. Uh, just focus on making sure that these players are really good wingers. Moving on to the two centre mids, I like to go for a balance between the two. So in the right centre mid position, I go for a more defensive minded player. This is somebody that's going to stay back, break up the play and ensure we're as good defensively as we possibly can be. So I would suggest somebody with a medium high work rate if you can get it as you get the maximum contribution in defence and then not too bothered about going forward. Moving on to the left centre mid, I like to go for a more box to box style player. This is somebody that's going to to attack and defend so I would suggest somebody with a high high work rate if you can get it as you get the maximum contributions in both attack and defense but just ensure that this player has a nice well-rounded card moving on to the fullbacks I like to go for a balance between the two so in the left back position I go for a more attacking fullback in Roberto Carlos this is somebody that's actually going to contribute in the attack and is actually going to go forward and then in the right back position I like to go for a more defensive minded player somebody that's going to stay back as just so we've got like a nice balance between the fullbacks. So we've got one more attacking one and one more defensive one. As for the centre backs, these just need to be the meta players. These are obviously players that are very fast, very strong, decent animation choices and medium high work rate. You guys know the types of centre backs you should be using at this point. Uh, and as for the goalkeeper, it really doesn't matter because they're all terrible. Now, moving on to the player instructions, guys. On both the strikers, I like to have them on stay central and mixed attack. We have them on stay central because it's important that they maintain that central position where they are our strikers so we don't want them drifting out into the wide areas as we already have players in those positions it's important that they stay in the middle it's important that they're always where we need them to be we also have them on mixed attack as I feel like you get a lot more out of the players this way when you put them on getting behind they always make the same one dimensional runs and they're very predictable but when you put them on mixed attack they make more dynamic runs uh, and they get a lot more involved in the build up which makes it easier to attack in my opinion. Moving on to the right mid and the left mid, we have them on comeback on defense, cut inside, get in behind and get into the box for cross. We have them on comeback on defense so they always fulfill the proper defensive shape that we need them to. If we leave them on basic defensive support, sometimes these players can get a bit lazy and it almost feels like a 4-2-4 when you don't have the ball. But when you put them on comeback on defense, it ensures that they just stay in the correct position. We have them on cut inside so they will look to make those inverted runs into the middle. Uh, which will be very difficult for the opponent to stop as they get into like those pockets of space. Uh, super useful to have them on cut inside and you'll see what we do with the fullbacks that will uh, make this make even more sense in a moment. We also have these players on getting behind so they all are always looking to make those runs. Uh, if you put these players on balanced support, sometimes they can be a little bit static and we don't really want that. We don't want these players to be hesitant to make those runs. Uh, and we also have them on get into the box for cross. So when we are in the penalty area, these players aren't hesitant to get into the penalty box as well so super important guys to have the correct instructions here moving on to the right center mid where we use a more defensive minded midfielder we have him on stay back and cover center we have him on stay back because obviously he is a more defensive minded player so we don't want him going forwards and then we have him on cover center so he does defend at those central areas um, but yeah moving on to the left center mid we have a more box to box player so we want to have him on the default setting and cover center we leave him on the default settings because like I said he is a box-to-box -box player so we don't really want to restrict him all that much the only important thing is that we have him on cover center so he does defend those central areas moving on to the left back where I've got a more attacking minded fullback I have him on balanced attack and overlap. Now, if we take a look at what we have on the left mid and right mid, you'll see we have them on the cut inside instruction. So they're going to be making those runs into the narrow areas, which means on the fullback, we can put them on the overlap run type. So when the left mid and the right mid are making those inverted runs into the narrow areas, these players are making the overlapping runs to add extra width to the attack. So we've got players in both the narrow areas and the wide areas at the same time. Moving on to the right back, I have 
have him on stay back while attacking and overlap. This is my more defensive minded player, so I do like to have him on stay back while default, so we always have at least three back at a time. But when I do want to send him on a run forward, he will be on the overlapping run type uh, to add the extra width. If you guys are feeling super aggressive, you can put both of these players on balance attack and overlap if you like, uh, but I like to leave at least one on stay back, so we always have three players back at a time. Moving on to the center backs and the goalkeeper, these are on the default settings and I do not touch them. But yeah, guys, they're my custom tactics and player instructions for the 442. If you have enjoyed or found this useful, please be sure to drop this a like, sub to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you are notified when a video is posted. And with all that aside, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in the next one.